So the beta for DaVinci Resolve 20 is here. And honestly, I don't wanna hear it anymore. This program just got even better after this update and it's jam packed with tools that no matter what you label yourself as, there's something new in here for you. And honestly, we're gonna talk about the best things that I think they added in here and that's gonna make your quality of life easier. So let's start with AI Music Editor. I'm not gonna lie, this is one that I've been waiting for for a long time because I've been Frankensteining my songs for the longest inside of DaVinci. If I needed something, I'd just trim it and then try to make the beats stick together. But now we could just simply use this tool to be able to drag or extend our songs and the AI in here will automatically shorten or extend the song and give you visual cues of where it's making those cuts. To use the AI music editor, all you have to do is click your track, go to your audio panel, and you'll see this AI music editor section and it gives you two options. You, you can choose your length here or go to live trim, which is the one that I like to use. And you simply just grab your track and you drag it. It's gonna do its thing right here. And after a couple seconds, it'll spit out four different versions of your track. And let's check it out. I'm gonna use the second one and we'll see how it did. Next, we have the AI Detect Music Beats. If you're an editor, you're used to editing to the beat of a song pretty often, and it just got easier. Now, DaVinci Resolve just simply uses its AI to show you the markers of where the beats are, and then you can just trim your videos to the markers right there, and you're good to go. To access this, all you have to do is right-click your track and click Show Music Beats. Once you do that, it's gonna go through the track and find those beats for you, and it's gonna leave these little markers at every single beat. And just like that, you can start trimming your clips and you're ready to go. Next, we have our keyframe panel. Inside of our cut and our edit page, we have a keyframe panel now that we can use to navigate through all our timeline keyframes and make all our changes in there. And we can refine everything at an ease without having to go to Fusion. To access your keyframe panel, you just go up here to keyframes and it's gonna open all the parameters that you could edit. And you could just go as you usually do by setting up your keyframes right here. And let's just set up a little zoom. So I'll just go up to here, zoom it in a little bit, and I could highlight it and move them around however I want. But if you click this little icon, this is where you could change your curves for whatever parameter you want inside of this panel. If you use these, you could ease in, ease in and out. You can ease out only, or you could customize them completely by hand. And next we have the vertical preview. In this day and age, everybody needs vertical video from your clients to yourself to be able to get things out there. And you know, if you were editing on DaVinci Resolve to make your vertical videos, you know how much of a pain it was to look at everything inside of that horizontal viewer. But now DaVinci Resolve listened to us and gave us a vertical preview so we could see everything as it's meant to be for vertical video. To get to the vertical preview, you just have to go to the edit page and work your way to this button right here. It's gonna say, expand view you click it and just like that you're looking at your vertical preview and if you close the inspector you have all this room to see what you're doing next we have the multi-text tool you know in davinci when you wanted to have like multiple things on screen that was text you would have to stack all your layers on top as if it was pancakes you no longer need to do that we finally have the multi-text tool so now we could just do it within this panel okay to access the multi-text you just go to effects and then you go to titles and you search for a multi-text. You drag that onto your timeline and inside of the inspector is where all the magic happens. Inside of here, you're gonna have these three options for text. It's point layout, text box layout, and circle layout. But the box layout is my favorite layout because you can type and then it won't extend across the screen like the regular point layout that we've had for the longest. So that one's really fun. And then if you want to get more creative, you could use the circle layout. You can put stuff around your head, like this tripod is super rad. And it gives you all that creativity that you're seeing all over Instagram right now and in YouTube videos. Next, we have the voiceover tool. This is one that I'm super pumped about because inside of my own work, I like to use voiceovers a lot to push the narrative or whatever I'm talking about. The way that I've been doing it for the longest has not been the best. I would be recording my audio inside of Audition, processing it, exporting it and then bringing it into DaVinci Resolve to make sure I had the best quality audio. But now that I have this tool inside of here, I can just record it directly onto my timeline, process it in there, and I'm ready to go. To use the voiceover tool, you just come over here and you click this little voiceover microphone. It'll pull out the voiceover box and it gives you the option to choose your file name and then your input. So whatever microphone you wanna use. And then it allows you to choose a track to wherever your voice is gonna get recorded. 
and then you simply just hit the record button, you yap it out, and then your audio is gonna be right on your track. Next is the ultra noise reduction. DaVinci Resolve is now using their AI engine to be able to give us noise reduction without destroying the clarity and the sharpness of our video. So, you know, sometimes you gotta shoot in conditions that aren't the greatest, but you still gotta get the shot. So you have to crank up that ISO and, you know, it introduces grain. And sometimes you just gotta use some noise reduction and DaVinci Resolve has already been known for having great noise reduction. And now with its AI engine, it's only getting better. To be able to use the noise reduction, you come into this panel right here. You make a node in the beginning of your chain because that's the cleanest input before any other things that you're doing. So now you have to go right here into the spatial noise reduction, click AI noise reduction and click analyze. And just like that, it's gonna choose a point on your image where it thinks there's the most noise and it's gonna help you remove that noise. So let's see what it did. It chose this spot and let's see how much noise it removed automatically. One click and we got that much noise removed which is pretty bonkers. So I think a lot of noise in this gray area. Let's let's grab the point and just drag it down and it'll automatically recalibrate the noise right there for that section. So let's see. Yep, that looks way better. And that was just with one click and we got some noise cleaned up out of our image. Blackmagic recommends to use the AI noise reduction with the temporal noise reduction. So let's try it with one frame better and then since there, there's not much motion i'll just do small and we'll put this one up at around two because i don't want to remove too much and let's see what it did and just like that we removed a ton of noise from our video it's kind of tough to see because the video is double compressed but trust me give it a shot and you're gonna love it next we have the automatic depth map DaVinci Resolve made a couple updates to the depth map. This lets you just control whatever is in the foreground or in the background for your grading way faster, way more accurate. And honestly, it's such a great tool and it's quite simple to use. The depth map is an incredibly powerful tool. It lets you choose your background or your foreground to be able to make changes in your color or your contrast or anything else using these tools right here. You can choose your far limit and your low limit to be able to refine your mat and whatever is white is gonna be what is gonna be affected. The goal here is to try to make the cleanest mat and using post-processing, it lets you create a better mat that feels more natural. You won't see haloing or sharp edges around your mat. So that's the best way to run it. Once you create your mat, let's say you wanna change the warmth in the background, you could just select your mat and then you can start using the gamma or the gain wheel to be able to start adding more warmth. And you can see that the background has a little more warmth into it now without affecting the foreground which you could get super creative with this. You could bring down the exposure to bring more attention to your subject and the list goes on. You could do whatever you need, micro adjustments in the foreground or the background. And you could do all that with just a couple clicks using the depth map. This is an extremely powerful tool that you could use to create color separation between your subject and your backgrounds and fine tune your grades to whatever you want your look to look like. Next, we have the AI IntelliScript, and this one is gonna save you guys hundreds of hours, especially with client work or these videos, if you make YouTube videos and you script them. DaVinci Resolve will take a script that you wrote and the video that you shot, and it will make a cut for you using that script. All right, so I have the script right here. I'm gonna say it a couple times, and we're gonna throw it into DaVinci Resolve to see if it actually works. To use IntelliScript, right-click your clip, go to AI Tools, audio transcription, then transcribe. Give DaVinci a couple seconds to transcribe the audio. Once it's done, you can just close the transcription window, right click the clip again, go to AI tools, and then create a new timeline using IntelliScript. Once you're in here, find your text file with the script in it and open it. And just like that, DaVinci is gonna give you a rough cut in seconds. This is a test from the new software update to see if this thing actually works. I'm kind of excited about this one, I'm not gonna lie. This could open the floodgates for way more content. It's not perfect, it's cutting out a couple syllables there at the end, but getting a rough cut, but getting a rough cut in minutes is honestly pretty bonkers. I kind of went off script a little bit there to see if it catches on and if it actually still functions if you do that. Next, we have the AI Audio Assistant. If you're like me and you suck at balancing things and you have a timeline that isn't mixed or balanced, not only does this organize your audio tracks by dialogue, by music, by sound effects, it also balances the audio and creates a professional mix for you from one click. And that's gonna save you so much time in the editing base. And all you have to do to use that is this. After you duplicate your timeline, 
just go to the AI tools and then go to audio assistant. It's going to give you all the options for the mixing. And I'm going to go with YouTube because this is going to go on YouTube and just hit auto mix. It's going to go through and classify your audio, mix your dialogue, mix your music, your sound effects, and then it's going to master your audio and you should be ready to post. If we scroll through, we can see that it color coordinated our music and our sound effects and our dialogue. So it put all our audio on designated tracks as well. And if we look deeper, we can see that it adjusted our volume for our sound effects. It also created transitions between our audio, like fades. And here at the end, we can see that it also faded it out because it's the last clip on the timeline. Those are the new updates on DaVinci Resolve 20 in a nutshell that I really enjoyed and I think will help you guys out. Let me know if there's anything else in there that you guys enjoyed, if you're using it already. And if you start using it, tell me your thoughts on it. And hopefully some of you people that are in the other places like Premiere and the other ones, you know, you'll come over to us and join the DaVinci Club, the great DaVinci Club. So, yep, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.